welcome in our co-host, recently returned from the state capitol, Delegate Michael Hornby. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, Rob. How are you? I'm well. How was your drive, man? Long. Yeah. But it was nice weather. You got about 37 bills passed? We got 37 yeah. passed and four failed, so. Spent about $400 million? About 460 according to my math. Yeah. Got a 2% uh, additional tax cut in there? 2% additional tax cut, and as well as uh, some cuts to spending. So that was kind of new. Overall, a good day? Overall, pretty good, yeah. There were some good ones in there. I didn't think uh, a lot of them were necessarily emergencies, but it is what it is. Let's also welcome in, uh, he is the Jefferson County Prosecuting Attorney with absolutely no jurisdiction whatsoever in Berkeley County, Mr. Matt Harvey. Good morning, and I'm happy to have it that way. No responsibilities here, except just to have a conversation with interesting folks. Yeah. Hey, uh, you switched to bow and arrow? Are you still uh, sitting in the uh, tree stand perched to shoot like Elmer Fudd during uh, the season? I haven't, I haven't been able to go hunting this year. Which one are you using, though? A crossbow? Yeah. You or one? a bow? You using one, either or? Crossbow. You using it? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Have you been successful in the past? You, I thought that? you were a rifle guy. Well, I do both. Okay. It's not mutually exclusive. Uh, the crossbow is, they're, they're lethal. They shoot about 400 feet per second, a lot of them. And you extend your range so you can get a more ethical shot on an animal. And uh, quite frankly, they're easier to use. They're more accurate because you can take 15 minutes, get it sighted in versus... Uh, to be proficient with a bow, you need to practice all year round, and and um, you know time is a luxury. So, uh, yeah, I'm not a purist. I'll, I'll I love my crossbow, and yeah, I've killed deer. With, I've killed plenty of deer with it. I've got them with my car, so we're in the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I would I would suggest a crossbow or a bow instead of a car. Instead of a car okay. or recurve or anything sure. beside your car. All right. I don't voluntarily your do fist, it with my car. You can try it with your fist, there, Rob. No chance. No, yeah. good. My youngest son, he was a wee pup. He, uh, he charged a deer once to try to scare it. The deer kind of like, what, you think? <laughs> it started back at him. He ran fast. He got all the way. I, have you seen those videos where they, those guys will put the buck lure on? And, yeah, and, and the, the deer attack them. The, the deer will attack them. When deer attack, yeah. It's awesome. It's, it's, it's a funny video, yes. Our guests in this segment, as we turn our attention to the uh, annual Apple Harvest Festival, include Mary Beth Blair. Good morning, MBB. Good morning. And Brittany Sennett. Who's the outgoing Queen Pomona? Brittany, good morning. Yes. Welcome back. Good morning. Thank you. Bittersweet time for you, I guess. It is. It is bittersweet. But I'm excited for her. I'm more excited than sad. I'm excited for Abigail that she gets to have her time and her reign. But while I am just slightly sad that it's not mine anymore. <laughs> yeah, but you get to keep the crown, right? Yes. The crown is mine. I would fight to keep this if I could. <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't get to. But yeah, every year we get the crown or the queens get to keep their crowns. But the sash has to be returned, unfortunately. And the, and the dress, too, correct? No. No, she no you don't. Get, dress. You no. keep the dress, I right? Keep Speaking of, what a great segue, Mike. The dresses. Tonight is our official first, well, we call it our pre-Apple Harvest mm -hmm. events to get people in the mood and excited about next week's festival. We have our Ruby and Rhinestone event. This is our fourth year. Just a, a girls' night out. Sorry, guys. It's only for the girls. But the dresses. All of the dresses, not all of them, but I mean, that would be 45 dresses right. in, a, you know, in a room. But we have probably uh, about 15 of the former Queen's gowns that will be on display at the Purple Iris tonight. Um, so it's really fun for people who come to see how the fashion has changed over the years. And we have, I don't know how far back some of them go, but we have some that are that go back pretty far. So Now, are both of you wearing wacky customized shoes tonight? Oh, or my just, gosh. Is it? I I've have seen to, the pictures. Okay, so that is another feature a, of the Ruby and Rhinestones event that women can decorate, fashion their shoes, or purchase something blingy that will be judged because there's four categories. It's like custom creations, uh, fashion statement with heels and blingy, and then there's like a flats category, and then a people's choice where everyone gets to vote. Honestly, no. I have not even thought about what's going on my feet tonight. All I can think about are the preparations to get to the point of having the event, but... I'll, I'm not a, I'm not competing anyways because I'm part of the committee. So, mm -hmm. but it's so fun. Last year, the one of the ones who won was a mother of someone yes. in the court, um, Nicole uh, Surgeon, mm -hmm. and she decoupaged her heels 
with the, her what, daughter's what name. Yeah, yeah, what is a deco <laughs> All three of us are looking like at each her, other. Can you, her, can you talk yeah. in testosterone yeah. terms to us? <laughs> the dazzler. She took a bunch of photos of like her and her kids or just like through the festival because Bella, her oldest daughter, was also on yes. the court. So she took photos from Bella's season or I guess, yeah, I guess her years. Yeah. And then Layla and put it all over her shoes and then just like... Put. Decoupaging is when you take paper and you put it on something and then you put paste over yeah. it and then you it's it like sets multiple. up and it's yeah. It, yeah it's so it's like a collage of memories on her shoes on with shoe. a little bit of bling. Okay. It was so <laughs> interesting. It was, it oh was. my gosh, it was so fun. I so, definitely didn't think about that before. So are mine. you looking forward to that? I am. I yeah. love to see everyone's shoes and like what they bring because there are some that are like wow, like I do not think about that. Mine are a little bit more toned down, but it does include the pin so each year yeah. we get a new pin. As you can see, she has a little apple pin. Every year is a new pin. Mine includes the pin Ooh. from my sister's year. Because well, your sister was also a queen. Yes, she was, she was a maid. maid. She was on okay. the maid, yes. Um, so her year, I put my, had the apple on my shoe. But it's, a, it's still blingy. What does your sash say? My sash says M-S-A-H-F, which is Mountain State Apple Harvest Festival, and then Queen Pomona, and has a little apple. I don't know if you guys can see that. And is that a green leather blazer you're wearing? It is. <laughs> yeah, I was it is. checking that out. That looks like it's pretty soft, too. Yeah. Is it it's comfy? It's leather. Yeah. yeah. It is comfy. <laughs> I felt like this morning the weather has been it like... It changed. Yeah. Yeah. Very is, cold. Like dress. Is the, is the blazer part of the outfit? Like, <laughs> no. That's no. just... But this is my yeah. This one's mine. Okay. <laughs> uh, the way Rob was oh asking about God. it. Uh, no, this is. It looks like it could be part of the outfit, right. though, doesn't it? Right. Yeah. Because there's green apples. Exactly. Another interesting thing I'll say too about Brittany that we love about her and was just such a fun thing that she could tie into her Queen Pomona reign last year and of course this year because you'll still be reigning. Mm -hmm. We have another prequel pre Apple Harvest Festival week event this weekend which is our fall classic and it will be at Musselman High School featuring high school baseball players from not only Morgan, Berkeley and Jefferson County but I understand Frederick County, Virginia. We have a couple players coming up too but Brittany was a standout high school <laughs> softball player so she is an athlete and you really enjoyed that event last year and I you'll did. be there again this Saturday yes. right? Um, I won't be here this oh, Saturday, okay. but last year our opening ceremonies got canceled because of the rain. Oh, okay. But they asked Forgot for me that. to, yeah, but they asked me to come back just like one game. I can't, I think it might have been the championship game okay. to throw out the first pitch. Mm -hmm. So that was probably one of my most favorite memories <laughs> was being able to do that. Did you throw it underhand or overhand? I threw it overhand, but what I did was I took a softball. Well, I always have a softball in my glove because, like, obviously it helps with molding. And, and you never know when a game's going to break out. <laughs> right, exactly. So I had a softball in my glove already, and my mm -hmm. mom gave me the idea. She was like, you should throw the softball instead of the baseball. And I was like, oh, that is a good idea. So I went, and I obviously told the catcher, like, hey, just so you know, I'm not actually going to throw a baseball. I'm going to throw a softball, so just be prepared if what you see is not what you're <laughs> actually used to seeing. That's so and he good. was like, okay, cool. So instead of I brought it out there like I was actually going to throw the baseball and then when I put it in my, in my glove I pulled the softball out and threw that oh magic act. yes yeah. exactly did, did you ever pitch no I well kind of I attempted probably when I was like 10 but my sister was the pitcher yeah oh, so what I position did. did you play I was middle infield middle mostly infield, okay. shortstop but in high school I tested with um second and I loved it so yeah. and then you middle played field. some club too um, I have not played any club, no. Oh, okay. How'd you play with the Oakdale girls, though? Uh, that was for travel. Well, I guess this club made me consider travel yeah. for some people. Yeah, travel ball. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Are you still playing at Shepherd? I am not, no. I gave up after I had a fractured wrist following my senior year. I broke during my senior year, but I decided to play it through, and then it made it worse. So then I had to be in a cast for 11 weeks, and during that time I was like, I think I'm done. <laughs> I like the I'm idea good. of a queen who's a jock tough girl who breaks wrists and can strike people <laughs> out and yeah. she's 10 and that yeah. kind of stuff i yeah. like this exactly right thank you yeah what are you gonna do next um Wh whose wrist are you gonna break next no, no breaking wrist here but graduating college is my next step i graduate a year early so i work that way to where i can graduate a year early and then i'll start my master's through shepherd save the four plus one program mm -hmm. so i'll be doing that what are you mastering in business administration and then i have a minor in marketing what do you hope to be 
Mary Beth Blair. Mary oh, Beth Blair. Let's hope. Yeah. <laughs> I knew Mary Beth Blair when she was your age. Really? Oh I gosh. did. Wow. Oh yeah. She was just yeah, kind of no starting stories, out in the no business. This <laughs> she was the Stay same focused. person. <laughs> she was the same person without kids and a husband at the time. Yeah. Of course. I believe it. Lots Aww. of energy, very well organized. Yes. I believe that. And you know me. Back to <laughs> the fall classic. <laughs> Not about me. So anyways, the fall classic this weekend is is going to be a great event for people to come out and support the high school athletes mm -hmm. that are going to be there. I understand uh, James Chancy, who organizes the event, has maybe 10 or so schools. Uh, college scouts coming out to see some of these kids. It, what's really unique about the event, I feel, is that it combines kids from different schools on each team. So it's not like Musselman against Hedgesville. It's kind of like club mm -hmm. ball, like you were just talking about. You're you're going to get a team that's mixed with kids from all high school. So they, that's fun for them to get to, to have a chance to play together. Um, and so this started, like we said, I think this is the fourth annual, so four years ago. Uh, and it kind of has replaced what we've always, we bring up a lot, uh, is the sports breakfast. So we're doing a sporting event instead. Um, so that's coming up this weekend. And then next week, we kick off our big apple harvest week, what we you know look forward to and plan for, Mike, on the board all year long. Brittany will be giving her farewell um, speech on Thursday at the unofficial official event for the Apple Harvest, mm -hmm. uh, which is the Royal Gala at the mm -hmm. Charlestown races at the Hollywood Casino. And before you get into that further, while we're still on the baseball topic, yeah. co Coach oh, yes. Mr. Chancy will be on with Colin this Great. afternoon and Nick. And can give all the details. And plus, if anyone is interested in coming, Saturday all day pool play. It'll I think it yeah. starts opening ceremonies are at eight. Games start at nine. They go all the way to six in the evening. Six or seven. Yeah. Um, so they're pool play all day. Um, our website has the teams, the the schedule, everything on there. So just go to our website msahf.com. And Coach uh, Chancy will be on again in the yes. noon hour with the sports mix guys uh, later yep. today. Yep, and then the championship rounds games will be all day on Sunday. So it's a two day mm -hmm. tournament. All right, talk to me about the parade. Yes. What would you like to know? Well, well, give me the route. Give me this. Did it okay. change? Did the route change yes. over the last couple so of years? So I knew that's what you were headed for. And yes, I've seen a lot of you know conversations online about the the change. And I would just um, say it this way: is we were approached by the city of Martinsburg and the city police to change the route. We didn't. It wasn't our decision. But yes, the route has changed. So the route, we it does not shorten the amount of of entries in the parade in fact it's a we actually had added a fourth division we normally have an advanced and three mm -hmm. divisions we have advanced and four divisions this year so it's still wherever you watch it you're still seeing the same amount of parade we just won't be on that main block of queen or raleigh and um it, we're coming we're down, starting king. up king yeah. go all the way to the square and go straight queen all the way to the high school so it's just a two straight legs you're not traditionally it started on king and then it turned onto raleigh up martin down queen so the main street of martinsburg won't be filled with people again this year which i know that again we did not change it as a board so yeah i think that the thoughts behind that were yes, it, it, that. it won't have as much impact on traffic it won't right. shut down martinsburg and it's a lot easier for the uh, Martinsburg police to manage. control and manage, and the cost to the city will be a little less now. Because so. almost everyone who is involved in um, blocking off the streets, cleaning up the streets, providing safety are overtime. So it was a big bill to the city of Martinsburg. And, and, and they... And they don't charge us. Yeah. Well, they charge well, they us, do. but they reimburse us for yes. that. They make a donation. We did get a so, grant for that yeah. this year to pay for the cost, almost all of the cost. So it was a, it was their request this year um, to do that. And I know that a lot of people had watch parties on those side streets that it, it used to travel down. So I do, I, I'm sorry about that. So you're going to have to move it to King Street. There's still, so basically we are covering a couple blocks of King that we never did before. So. I think people will be pleasantly surprised yeah. how, how nice it'll be. So, and again, this is about safety. What? It's about, make, I mean, we just want the, the best outcome for everyone. I like your positive attitude, Mike, but I hate change. <laughs> what, what day is a lot of people hate change, but change okay. is good. Parade, change is good. Yeah. Give, it a, give it a chance. Yeah, the parade Sometimes. is next Saturday, this, the 19th. The 19th. Yes, okay. at 1 o'clock. And pre, preceding that would be the Apple Trample, which again will change their course this year, starting at the McCormick Center. And and then they go uh, to to King via Tennessee Avenue, King, 
and then up clean. And by the way, Mayor Knowles will be on the program tomorrow morning at 8. Yeah. Preparing to be about grilled that. about the root changes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think the root changes will be good. I really yes. do. Got a the very best thing light, about... bright light bulb shining on him tomorrow and interrogating him <laughs> over this. I wonder why it kind of zigzagged before. That's a good, good question. question. Yeah. Honestly, I've been in the parade, been a mom of someone as a participant in the parade for as long as I can remember and even watched the parade, you know, as a child. And that is those side streets, you know, it is it is it isn't easy for some of those units to turn, 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 turn. I mean, it's a lot. I do. I mean, I'm sure we'll miss being in that main block of downtown. That's mm -hmm. kind of traditional. But those the side streets were you know, interesting to navigate. Also, you, the density of residents on Martin and the amount of cars that have to be, you know, displaced for 24 hours during that parade. That's it's a lot of people that yeah. are put out during that time frame. I'm sure they enjoy the move then. <laughs> they were inconvenient. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Brittany, how does the handoff ceremony go? <laughs> Talk mean, to me about this. It's kind of like a handoff, but I have a farewell speech that will be given, like Mary Beth said, um, on next Thursday, which is the Royal Gala, and that's mm -hmm. where I'll turn in my sash. I'll give that to Miss Courtney. It'll be hers to have until um, Abigail yes, comes the in. the coronation on yes. Friday night. And then the, and the coronation is at Airborne uh, Church. At Airborne Church. <laughs> and that is open to the public, Anyone's correct? Anyone's invited 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. on Friday. Yeah. And then we have a Pomona brunch, and that's where I don't wear my crown. Mm. I don't wear my sash, like, out of respect, because that oh. night is her night. So technically that day is kind of like her day. So I don't wear my crown, my sash. I just go as me. And <laughs> <laughs> then that night is when she will have her ceremony of the coronation. And that's when the first time people can see the dress, right? Yes. Because it's a custom dress no every has, single year. Right, that is correct. No one has mm -hmm. seen the dress but Miss Courtney and the seamstresses okay. and, of course, the queen. She's been fitted. So it will be a surprise until that night. And, yeah, so it, the, the coronation is so much – there's so much pomp and circumstance to that. And we have the junior ROTC uh, – cadets from our local area who will be escorting all, all of the court and it's such a royal time it, it, really, is. it really is. is i want to know about your year as the queen yeah. what was there, your highs and and not, i doubt there were any lows but uh <laughs> if there's anything that kind of fits that description what yeah. uh, what's it been like well to backtrack and on the coronation to when i would read to the kids i would tell them it's kind of like frozen like elsa's coronation yeah. that way they knew like if yeah. you guys want to come like this is what kind of to expect that's so that's sweet. it's really it's like ma really magical i mean i was a little stressed out during it but <laughs> <laughs> but i was scared i guess you could say a low was trying to fit myself like being five foot two in this quinceanera dress that had a hula hoop skirt mm -hmm. and a crinlin skirt underneath of it yeah. upstairs and downstairs mm -hmm. that really stressed me out <laughs> so that was a little bit of a low because i was so nervous that mm -hmm. I would fall, but luckily I had my cadets, so we were good. If you didn't fall, though. No, I did not fall. The highs, there's, I mean, there's highs for everything. The people, the cadets, I think about this all the time. They made me laugh so much last year. Like, they just bring so much light to this, and they're just supposed to be, like, the behind-the-scenes guys, but no, they're, they're a part of it just as much as we are. Um, spending the weekend with the girls, like, it's not just about me, but I also have my court members, mm -hmm. and I spent the entire weekend with them, and they have their dresses that are secret, too, so they get that moment mm -hmm. where it's also secrecy, but just meeting everybody, even the kids, they are... What so about funny. during the year? What Do you have any responsibilities once the uh, har harvest is over, the parade is over, yeah. the, the weekend's done? Mm -hmm. yep. What do you do during the year? So I am supposed to be an advocate for the festival, and I go to other classrooms. If they request my appearance, then I will go to wherever. So I went to the Apple Drop, which is the New Year's Eve Apple Drop for the kids. I went there, danced around with them. I've read to... I believe 11 classrooms in the past two weeks, and I have one more on Monday, which is actually, or Tuesday, which is actually at high school, so that'll be very interesting. I get to talk to a travel West Virginia class, so that'll be interesting, but I get to be just an advocate for the festival, and I get to go to all these different festivals or fundraisers or whatever um, anyone wants, or if they want Queen Pomona, then they can request Queen Pomona, and I'll yeah. go. What yeah. will you do with the crown? <laughs> it will... Probably sit on next to so Miss Olivia, the previous queen. She gave me a little crystal like apple thing that sits on my desk, so it'll probably sit next to that in remembrance of this time. <laughs> Is it heavy? 
Yes. It is very heavy. Well, I guess heavy on your head. It gives you a little headache after a while, but it's a little heavy. Yeah, it's okay. What? It's worth it. Beauty's pain, right? <laughs> <laughs> we some wouldn't say. know. Yeah. <laughs> some I guess not. Do you, do you really? plan on doing any more pageants? No, I don't. I This is not so much like a pageant thing. Like I won't go on and compete for Miss West Virginia, America, right. or USA. I won't do that. This is kind of just in its own special moment. So mm -hmm. people, this is why I was really excited to be a part of this because it's not about the pageantry or I'm not going to compete for something even right. bigger. So girls who aren't really interested in that, if they just wanted a little moment to yeah. shine the, like in this state, then they absolutely can because it's Yeah, I think this, this is focused on more about agriculture, mm -hmm. what right. the apple industry means, what yeah. community means to you. Mm -hmm. that, that's how the, the, the interview process Right, right. and it's an yeah. interview process. Yeah. So it's not a pageant where they're on stage and they're judged and that capacity right. it's an interview process mm -hmm. where they come and talk to a, a, a group of judges about their knowledge of the apple industry why they would like to be our ambassador um and just talk about all of their accomplishments we're just looking for someone like Brittany. she embodies what we are looking for so much and just someone who has achieved so much that and she shines she sparkles mm -hmm. she was able to take her knowledge and the knowledge she gained throughout the year of the industry and and communicate that to little the littlest to the oldest mm -hmm. um and so that's why we have the queen pomona and the pomona comes from you want to say it? <laughs> Pomona is a Greek goddess of fruit trees and apple orchards. Mm -hmm. So it's really just an advocate, like you said, for agriculture and everything with the apple industry. So it's really cool. And um, during my interview process, we also talked about the significance that you have with the apple industry. And yes. I just so happened to, my great grandparents actually worked for Bird's Orchard and down where I live. And when it was repurposed from the apple orchard, it actually became a neighborhood and I actually live in that neighborhood now. Oh, the so, full circle. Yes, yes, exactly. Very full circle moment. So that was The my apple scene. doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> it does not. Oh, Matt. <laughs> oh, and your my Aunt God. Jen says you're too cute. Love Aww. Aunt Jen. So Aww. she's, she's Jen. watching. <laughs> Everybody should have an Aunt Jen. Yes. yes. Do you have any other official duties between now and when you hand off the, uh, the crown? I, I have my um, appearance, my school appearance on Tuesday, but just the gala is will that, be my final. That'll guess, wrap it up. And you're coming tonight, right? You'll be there oh, yes, in full absolutely. capacity at Ruby yes. and Rhinestone tonight. I will tonight. be there yes. tonight with my dress. All right. Okay. Are you sold out, Mary Beth, for tonight? Not tonight. We... we um, have a few tickets left if anyone is interested. You can still hop on our website and to the uh, where MSAH, msahf.com and there is a little tab that you can click on and, and purchase. We can still probably could take about 10 more ladies if if we have, I think we'll have the capacity for that. So we're really excited about that. Yeah. So well, very good. And other, if anyone wants to know the full schedule, that's where you head to our website. We have rack cards all over Berkeley County and Jefferson County, Morgan County. We have magazines, uh, the souvenir magazine all over at all BCT locations. I just want to give a quick shout out as you close to the Bank of Charlestown for being our presenting sponsor. They are in not only financially, but it, with volunteers that we couldn't do the festival without them. And Mary so, Beth, thank you. Yes, thank you. And Miss Senate, all the best to you. You're the third Senate I've met I between am. Mike, Josh, and Brittany. Oh, oh. Couple, a whole generation change there. Yes. You guys Very have all been great. Now.